hello guys so today we'll be creating a birthday flyer inside pixel lab so without wasting time let's get started so first of all we start with a blank white space and then we we'll import our image and then we position it rightly ensure it's centralized So afterwards we'll lock that layer so that we don't move it accidentally so the next thing we'll do is to add our shape for the background so we'll use a gradient fill for the background so you can select your own color so you can use the color picker so that's called the eyedropper tool so we're going to select a color from the image we imported I think that's okay and then we can adjust the gradient and so you scale it up to fill the entire document space and so after that we would drag that down below the image layer so it serves as the background so we'll lock that layer as well so the next thing we're going to do is to add our text so for this text layer would name it um, birthday this would be the birthday text you can just type birthday click ok and scale it up ensure it's properly positioned and centralized so we'll change the color and the font so i used white and then let's change the font so i used morganite for this birthday text so you can find these fonts online download them and install them in your pixel app so we're going to adjust this properly and move it below the image layer so it now appears behind the subject so you can activate your grid lines to ensure that it's properly aligned So we can lock that as well. So we're going to duplicate this layer and ensure it's aligned with the other one. And so we're going to reduce the opacity. So let's rotate it along the X axis. So it now it's now upside down. So after doing that, we are going to reduce the opacity to ten percent. So we drag that behind our image as well so we we'll lock that and still duplicate it again so let's duplicate it once more and then this time we'll position it on top at the top ensure that they are all aligned so lock that as 
well. So we are going to add another text layer. So this would be the happy text. You can just type happy. So we also change the color and the font. Still use white. And then I'll change the font to Chillax Medium. So you can use the position controls to um, ensure it's properly positioned. thing we're going to do is to add the shape we're going to add a circle so that's what would um, that's where the date would be so let's edit the shape go to edit And then we use the gradient fill, the same gradient fill we used for the background. Then we are going to add a stroke to increase your stroke width to like four or three. And then your stroke color could be white. And then once we're done with that, let's add a shadow. So let's change the direction of the shadow. So as you can see the shadow is too thick so we are going to reduce the opacity of the shadow. So once we are done with that we are going to add the date.
so once we are done with that we are going to add another text layer for the name the name of the subject so i'm just going to use a random name for this one After that, we're going to add a shape, we're going to add a triangle. So change that to a triangle, you can adjust that and then scale it down and we'll change the color, we'll, we'll make it a yellow colored triangle. After that, you can adjust it and position it rightly. After that, we are going to add another shape. This time it's going to be a circle, but we are just going to use the stroke alone. So we are going to increase the stroke width and then make it yellow as well. to reduce the fill opacity to zero and then we we'll take that behind the subject and then we're going to adjust it properly so that it complements the entire design Once you're done with that you can if you're okay with this you can share it to your friends or your family or you can spice it up a little bit so we're going to export this one to export as an image save to gallery 
and then also save as a project file as you can save it as a project so it remains editable so you can change the image or change the name or it becomes something you can use over time so once you're done with that we'll exit pixel Lab. and then we'll open the photoshop app and then we'll import our image so um we're just going to add something simple These are called flares they are light flares so we are just going to add that and then we we'll change the blend mode to screen so that it hides all the dark areas so we we'll change the blend mode to screen and then you can just take a look at that let's adjust it You'll see the difference it made. So if you want to download the Photoshop app, I would leave a link in the description. So you can just go there and download it for yourself. So we are going to duplicate this and transform it. And we are going to position this at the bottom left. So we'll scale it up and place it at the bottom left so we'll duplicate it again and this time we'll put it or uh, place it at the top right Once you're done with that you can save it and export as an image so let's export this and save to gallery select it and then okay so that's how to make embed the design in pixel art.